This is the Berkeley Student Cooperative Cloyn Courthouse Tour. This is the entrance to Cloyne, so on these boards you usually see like announcements and stuff like that. This is the mail area, so on the left any letters would go in those boxes, and on the right like any packages that arrive to the door are locked in that room, and every day there's set mail hours where you can come pick up your mail. Here you can see our communal printer, which everybody can use to print items. And we're walking to the Libad, which is a communal space for people to hang out and watch movies and just congregate. Cloyne has a rule where anybody can paint anything they would like on the walls as long as it's not covering up someone else's painting. And so that's why you see all the artwork around. But as we walk down this hallway, we're headed towards the office of the facilities manager. The facilities manager is live-in staff, which help respond to emergencies and just run the building. So you can definitely go to the facilities manager if you have any issues with anything or something like that. This is the dining hall area where people, after making food, will just eat their food and congregate. Every day of the week during the school year, we have communal dinner. And Saturdays, it's communal brunch, and so people will just congregate and eat there. Um, these are some personal fridges, so you can store your personal food in the personal fridges and then personal pantry space, and you just have, like, a bucket where you can just store your food. And then here is, like, communal food for people, and then on the left is the free table, so people will leave free items there. And now we're entering the dishwashing area, so people will wash dishes there. And this is like the communal kitchen. So during when communal dinner is made, you're not allowed to be in the kitchen. But other than that, you can cook whatever you'd like in the kitchen and do whatever you'd like in the kitchen. During the school year, there's communal dishes that people use. And we have worksheets where people will wash them and then sanitize them. Um, here's one of the communal fridges that stores like the communal food for dinner. And so these are some leftovers from like previous dinners. Now we're going to the communal freezer, which during the school year holds communal food for communal dinner, but right now there's personal food being stored here. Here is the communal pantry, which is where like dry food is stored for the communal dinners, but you can still take food to eat from the communal pantry as well. Now we are headed to one of the study rooms of Cloyne. Cloyne has four study rooms. Three of them are quiet and one is loud. Cloyne is a academically themed house, meaning that there is an academic coordinator that hosts academic events like study sessions or professor speaker events, professional development events, and things like that. Cloyne is substance free, meaning that no substances are allowed at all within the house. Although you are allowed to come home inebriated, you should not be loitering in common areas or anything. Cloyne has quiet hours from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. on weekdays and 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. on weekends. Here you can see people have definitely taken the rule of being able to paint whatever you'd want on the walls pretty well and have painted whatever they'd like on the walls. Here is the actual inside of Cloyne's study rooms. Cloyne has three quiet study rooms and one loud study room. This is another area of coin. So down the stairwell, there's quite a few different spaces. There's a photography room which we're headed to now, which is basically where people can use the dark room to just make their photography. And so as you can see here, there's someone doing some photography related work inside the photography room. So past the photography closet, there's some other rooms. So to your left, there's a free pile. So basically people 
who have items they don't want anymore can leave them in the free pile and other people can pick them up and maybe utilize them. We have a music room, but it's currently undergoing some restoration work, so it will not be shown. But you can practice your musical instruments in the music room. So leaving the free pile now, we're headed to the gym of Cloyne. So quiet hours apply for the gym. So after 10 p.m., you cannot be like working out in the gym or before 7 a.m. just because some people above the gym are sleeping. Leaving the gym, we are now headed to the John Gibson room, which is where a lot of furniture is stored. It is also a communal space for everyone, but a recovery circle is held here where people in recovery will gather. Now we're going to another area of Cloyne. So basically, down these stairs there is a laundry room right now the rates are 75 cents for washing and 75 cents for drying and with room and board you get free laundry detergent to wash your laundry with as you can see there are communal washers and dryers we have another laundry room in another area of the house as well. So past the laundry room is the maintenance room where basically they will do in-house repairs of things that break at coin or they will make things. For example, in previous years, they had a quail coop that they made from stuff in the maintenance room. And if you have any projects, you could possibly use the maintenance room to create your projects. So now from the kitchen, we're headed to like the outside area of Cloyne. So through this door, you can see Cloyne has a basketball court and a piano that's usually inside, but right now it's outside. We have other pianos in the music room, but we have like a full on basketball court that people will use to play. We have bike racks and a garden. As you can see, we have like a little greenhouse for some plants that need a greenhouse. We also have like an area for movie screening. So that's like where projector is hung and like seating next to that movie screening area. Here is basically the fire evacuation zone of Cloyne as well as the dumpsters where if you have any trash, you would put it in the dumpster. This is an example of a bathroom at Cloyne. We only have single bathrooms at Cloyne and it's around one for every two to three rooms. As a resident of Cloyne, and because Cloyne is a communal space for many people, everybody is assigned shifts to clean the bathrooms, and so that would be an expectation when living at Cloyne. This is an example of a triple room at Cloyne. All rooms come with a dresser, bed frame, desk, bed, chair, and wardrobe. Everything else you would need to bring with you.
This is an example of a single room at Cloyne. This is an example double room at Cloyne. Finally, this is a screenshot of Cloyne on the map respective to campus. So Cloyne is right next to Quarry Hall up in the top almost right corner.